continuing ayah 37 A'udzu billahi minasyaitonir rajim then Adam was inspired by his Lord with words of repentance so he accepted his repentance surely he he is the acceptor of repentance most merciful fatalaqqa adamu mir rabbihi kalimat then Adam was inspired by his Lord with words of repentance Adam alaihi salam did not know what to do after making a wrong decision he had never sinned before he regretted what he did and was remorseful. Fa here, fatalak ka fa. Immediately, Allah inspired him with words of repentance. The words can be found in Surah Al Araf, Ayah 23. Rabbana zolamna anfusana wa illam tawfir lana wa tarhamna lana kunan namin al khasirin. Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we will certainly be among the losers. Remember, in earlier ayah, Allah said that they will be among the wrongdoers. So now the words of repentance contains meaning of them doing wrong to themselves. This was guidance from the master to those who seek repentance. Allah consoled him like a father consoling a child who had mistakenly made a wrong decision. Making wrong decisions are a part of life. This was a learning process for Adam alayhi salam. Allah made it quite casually. Example, yes, I know you are very regretful of your choice, but you can always turn back to me and I will always be ready to forgive you. Allah did not mention Hawa directly receiving words of repentance. Adam was to teach Hawa. The head of the family is responsible to teach the spiritual well-being of his wife and children or to send to someone who knows the religion better. Someone from the Christian background reading this story will be expecting God to be angry at Adam. But here in the Quran, there is none. Allah loves the moment where his slaves are asking for his mercy and forgiveness. That's pure sincerity of trying to please the master. Couldn't bear the thought of the master being angry with him. Like a child who do not want his parents to be upset with him. If a child admits his guilt and apologizes, that will make the parents' heart melt. If a child rebelled, that will make the parents getting angrier. We are all children of God. From the story of Adam alayhi salam, he was nurtured in the following. Number one, follow Allah's command. Yes, be a student, stay and eat freely in paradise. A command can also be one that fits your pleasure. Example, getting married, etc. Number two, avoid Allah's prohibition. No, he approached the tree and he ate from it. Number three, immediately repent after making a mistake. Yes, he was remorseful. Iblis chose to resist all three. Number one, follow Allah's command. He did not prostrate to Adam as commanded. Number two, avoid Allah's prohibition. He encouraged Adam salam and spouse to go to the tree. Number three, immediately repent after making a mistake. He did not acknowledge his mistake and never repent. In other surah, Iblis was in fact justifying his refusal of not prostrating to Adam salam. Surah 7, Ayah 12, Satan said, I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay. Tadabur. When we sinned, number one, recognize that we have sinned like Adam did. Number two, feeling remorse and regretful like Adam did. Number three, say the same words that Adam recited. Number four, happen to do the same sin again. Repeat the process from point one again. Number five, for the daily small sins that we overlook, do the daily zikr of Astaghfirullah at least 100 times as the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. What we are not to do after sinning, not recognizing the sin or think lightly of it, not remorseful and not repenting, tell other people the details of our sin, not to be done. The doors of repentance to your master is always open anytime, anywhere. You do not have to be in a mosque to repent. There is no confession box. You do not have to tell anyone. You admit your guilt and confess directly to your master not via an intermediary. The quality of sincerity and regret are what your master sees. Surely he, he is the acceptor of repentance, most merciful. A person may forgive another person's asking for forgiveness, but may not necessarily be merciful towards him. He still have some grudge and may not want to see his face anymore. When Allah mentioned acceptor of repentance, most merciful, it means in layman term, forgive and forget, and on top of that, gave his mercy to that person. Example, the reason of a person's entering hell is because of sins. He needs Allah's forgiveness to remove his sins. 
after forgiveness he needs Allah's mercy to allow him to enter paradise therefore each time when you repented to Allah he will also gain his mercy additional thought if Adam was to make a complaint that all this was a setup against him and his wife it might look like a valid complaint he might defend himself that he did not know that he was not to live in paradise but to be sent to earth why was it that it was his fault wrong himself but Adam did not file a complaint. He did not try to build a case to justify his sin against the master. He did not even blame Satan. He took responsibility of the mistake. He had defied the command of the master, so he acknowledged his shortcomings and repented. Humans are expected to do sins and expected to repent. He passed the test successfully because of his humbleness. This was opposite of Iblis' reaction when he defied the command of his master to prostrate to Adam. He did not admit to the mistake. Instead, he tried to justify his refusal by saying that he was far more superior than Adam. He had thousand years of experience worshipping Allah. He had rose in ranks among the angels. Why was Adam, who had no resume whatsoever, was suddenly promoted being higher than him? It seemed like a logical complaint. He did not repent, but instead rebel against the master. He failed the test because of his arrogance. Surah 15, Ayah 39, Iblis said, My Lord, because you have put me in error, I will surely make this obedience attractive to them on earth, them the human, and I will mislead them all. Iblis blamed Allah for putting him into the error of not prostrating to Adam alayhi salam. Let's deduce what are his arguments. God had already planned this. God already knew the presence of Adam alayhi salam will trigger a negative response from Iblis. God was unfair to Iblis. Iblis had worshipped and done more than Adam alayhi salam. He was superior in status than Adam alayhi salam. The command to prostrate Adam alayhi salam was purposely made to trap him. Iblis rebelled and tried to justify his refusal against Allah's command. Adam did not justify his mistake. Nowadays, people try to justify their sins by any reason that they can think of. People who drink said that, I just drank a little. It does not make me drunk. It's okay. Women who do not cover their modesty said that what is important is how kind your heart is. It's okay. Men who beat up wives said that she belonged to me. People who don't perform the salah said they did many other good deeds like giving to charity, helping the orphan children, etc. Allah's command to prostrate to him has become trivial to us. People say Allah already knew what sin I'm going to do just like Adam eating from the tree. It was not my fault that the sin happened. No matter what, my sin will still occur, just like Adam will still eat from the tree. Are you justifying your action like Iblis, or are you going to repent like what Adam did? Do you think your logic is superior than Allah's command? Do you think your logic has far more wisdom than the wisdom of Allah? Both Iblis and Adam were once honored by Allah. Both of them had disobeyed Allah. Both of them were given the opportunity to act after defying his command. Iblis chose to rebel, be angry, unsatisfied, while Adam chose to repent, fear of Allah's anger, asking for forgiveness. The one who repents got Allah's forgiveness and blessings. The one who rebelled got Allah's wrath. The story of Adam and Iblis were mentioned seven times in the Quran, indicating the importance in the lesson that it brought as a reminder that decisions are made each day to either obey Allah or to refuse. It's a constant battle of oneself between being arrogance and humility between rationalizing mistakes and repentance, between your personal logic and Allah's wisdom, etc., etc. After going through the lessons in this story, you can now see Allah's wisdom. Adam appointed as Khalifa was higher in status than Iblis or the angels. He showed a unique character that the angels never experienced. Angels never sinned and never experienced repenting. Iblis sinned and never experienced repenting too. Adam seen and repented. This was the special character of being a Khalifa.